We got a uh, coon here today. We're going to show you how we skin a coon out. And uh, we're going to skin it, flush it, and show you how to stretch it. We're going to show you how to do everything. So, first thing you're going to want to do is uh, take your fur brush and uh, comb this thing out real good. You don't want any burrs, uh, you know, mats in the hair, anything like that. If you got anything like that, um, whenever you uh, go to flush it, your flushing knife will hit that burr, that mat, and uh, pop a hole in the uh, fur or the skin. So you take all that out. There's some mats in there. So clean them out real good. All right, so we got this coon hung up from leg to leg. What you're going to want to do is, is you're going to want to go from the inside of the heel right here, and you're going to want to draw a straight line right up to the other inside of the heel. That'll be your first cut. So if you guys can kind of see that line right there, that's where you're going to want to do it. So you take your knife, pop it in there, and just... Take a straight line right up, right to the inside of the other heel. Okay, now what you're gonna wanna do, take and pull this a little bit. Now we just, just shot this coon, so he's still nice and warm, so he's gonna pull pretty good. Take a piece of steel, run it up in there. I mean, you can pull this if you want, but it makes it a lot easier with a piece of steel. Take it, work it down to the foot. Come to the foot, cut it off. All right, so there's one side. Give it a little tug down. All right. Hang up on the other side, do the same thing. Run that steel up in there. Right there. Pull it down. Alright, so there's that. So now what you're going to want to do work on the tail here. So we'll take him. Hang him up. Alright, for the tail, what you want to do is you got the butt here. You're going to want to come in right at the butt. You don't want to leave a lot of fur, but you're going to come in and just ring right up around that butt just cut that out come in there up there you go take your steel put it back through there give it a nice pull down that cleans everything up okay now what I do is take a little bit down the tail Open it up just a little bit. Take and ring around your tail real quick just to get it free. Take your tail strip. Put your tail strip on there. Pull that tail off. What I'm doing there is I got this on here. I'm holding here. I'm pushing up on the tail and pulling down a little bit. You don't want to just pull down on the tail because you'll pop that tail right off. Then take your tail uh, zip. Huh? Do the tail thing again. Oh, I didn't get it. Yeah, better angle here. Okay, well my cameraman didn't, didn't get me shown how to do the tail. So what you got, you got your tail strip on there like that. You're gonna want to hold it like this. Take your other hand, place it on the base of the tail right here. You're going to want to push up with this one and pull down a little bit with this one. You don't want to just pull straight down with this one because what will happen is, is you'll pull that whole tail down 
and you might pull that tail off. So then I've already taken, split the tail all the way down, do that, and we just do it with a an X-Acto blade with a, uh, I don't even know what those are used for, but they work good for us. Alright, so now you're just going to want to take and pull down. This is a male, let me show you this. This is a male, so right here is his penis bone. You're going to want to take and cut that out. There you go. And just start working them down. Alright, so you've seen the arms come right here. So what I do, take my piece of steel, run it in that arm, pull it down, opens everything up a little bit, pull it out, do the same with the other side. Bring the foot off. You can leave the uh, leave the arms long, and whenever you board it, you can uh, cut them down to the exact length you need. So I'm gonna turn them around again so I can work on the head. Okay. Switch knives here. I'm just gonna do a little cut there to free everything up around that head. Give it a pull. Okay. Now, right here on the head, you can see these two bumps right here and these bumps right here. That's his ears. You can feel them right here. So what you're going to want to do, that ear is right there. You're going to want to take, give them nice, deep ears. Nice, long ears. Same with the other side. Right there. Cut in nice and deep. Then all you got to do is work your way around you come down to the eyes and if you take your time you can actually feel the eyes like right there's an eye right there you can see my my finger here it's on bone it comes down up into that eye socket so right there's an eye Follow, follow down and around that eye. Nice small eye holes. Okay, so there we got the eyes. Just come down. This lower lip, you don't need it. Just work your way down. I take on this lower lip down here and just cut it off. Because you don't need it. So then all you're doing is working your way down the nose. Okay, right here you can see this is the end of his nose. This is where the cartilage starts. So you just want to kind of Cut down through that. Right there. There's a skinned out can. So we'll probably we'll wash this one because he's got some blood on him. Wash them, let them dry, put them in the fridge so uh, the fat will push easier in the uh, flushing process. But that's how we 
skin out a coon. So we'll show you guys how to do the flushing and then the uh, the boarding of it. So we'll see you guys then.